water is treated as a free commodity in India. Sanitation infrastructure is seen as something that the government has to provide. There is a need to view pure water and clean toilets as a utility that one pays for. And this sentiment is something that urban India needs to echo as well. According to Namita, if urban India understands the importance of water preservation, the message will filter down. For instance, we met the Kapoors in Hyderabad. The couple is not only using rainwater harvesting in their back lawn, but are also using Bankas technology to treat their sewage waste. The water extract can then be used for simple things like watering the garden. In this manner, the couple is saving 500 litres of water per day. We realised that this water, which would normally be wasted, can be used for maintaining our gardens and lawns and vegetable patch. And we don't have to use good water for that. We run it for about 45 minutes. And with a good force, uh, we get water. And that waters all this area, you know, and even a vegetable patch. Water which is coming out of, what shall I say, the used waste water. It's going waste. Now it isn't. Now it's being used in this lawn, in this house. And when it goes into the ground also, it's charging the ground water. So we think it's a much uh, better idea than just... Let Having somebody water. come and take it away. You know, Amita, you moved to Hyderabad about five years ago. Yes. And before that, uh, you were actually doing some jewellery designing from home as well, which uh, even even in that, I think you were quite a hit with your uh, family and friends. Yes. So is the, is the entrepreneurship deal um, a part of you? Is it a natural uh, instinct? Yes. Or uh, is it just something that you thrive on? Yes, I just thrive on business because that's what I want to do. And I, I tried doing some jobs, but I never stayed anywhere more than a month. And ultimately, I found that uh, entrepreneurship, doing business is my, my choice and my passion, actually. And I do whatever I do, I do it with, uh, with a lot of zeal, a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm and responsibility also. So that, that's entrepreneurship basically uh, is always what I wanted to do on my own, of my own, something of my own. Whatever I do, I make it uh, up to the level where I, I think I have achieved something. Sometimes women do face some amount of constraints uh, because of family pressures or because of responsibilities at home. Yes, yes I did feel that uh, sometimes in my life too, but uh, definitely without the help of your husband, without the help of your family, you can't achieve anything in life. On the field and in your work, being a woman, how does that make a difference? That is it more difficult? No, it is not difficult. It has made my lot of my work very easy. Okay. Because being a woman, people do tend to hear you sometimes. But you have to be very headstrong in what you say and what you do. So you should not... Uh, I, what, I, what I felt strongly is many things which others could not have done it, I have done it. And change, uh, change some certain people's attitudes by just speaking. Because many women don't speak what actually they feel, which I do generally. And it has made a difference. What keeps you going at the moments when times are tough? Uh, you know, because there must be a temptation. They must, you must have thought yeah. about it once or twice. That, oh, why am I even bothering to go through all this effort and these pains and struggle to get, you know, the word out and educate people? What do you do then? It is, uh, sometimes I do get upset. Sometimes I do feel the pressure too much. But when I get up the next morning, I think I have, uh, I have grown from two people to 35 people and they are all dependent on me. So I can't quit and I shouldn't be thinking about it. And that the people who are motivating me and they are with me, helping me out and growing, uh, they motivate me a lot. It is not easy. Like when you, when you are just thinking, you just can't quit, you know, in one day. time When you started something, you need to finish it off. And that is where my work stands, stands out. And I want to carry on for at least, I want to retire definitely after 10, 15 years and give it away to the people who are going to actually take care. But I have to build that platform and that is what is uh, driving me crazy and driving me passionately to do things out of the way and which others are not able to do it in my organization. So I want to do that and give it to them as it is that they can take it over. Namita, thanks so much for joining us. I wish you all the best. And maybe one of these days uh, or the next couple of years when you're traveling on the railways in some part of the country, you're going to see what a bunker bio is all about. That's all from us in this edition of Down to Earth. Thanks for watching. Thank you.